Hiya, this is Seb from Wirebox and this video is about the Edge Flow. So if you never use Edge Flow in Blender, watch this video because it's a great tool and it can help you to set the topology right way. So the Edge Flow is a free add-on or basically it comes with Blender, but we have to install it. First you have to go to Edit, then scroll down to Preferences and under the Get Extensions, in a search you have to write Edge Flow and then click Install. And then let's check if you've got it. Right click on your mouse and on top it should be Set Flow. That's the one and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So here we've got a plane with uneven spaced loop cuts. By the way, we are in edit mode and we've got selected edge mode. It can help us to spread this uh, loop cuts evenly on this plane. Let's select one of these loop cuts, this one in the middle, and now let's apply the edge flow. So right click and set flow. And what happened, as you see, this tool set the selected edge evenly between the two adjacent uh, edges. So now we see how the edge flow works. Now let's select all of the edges inside the plane, set the flow and we've got everything evenly spaced. And now I'm gonna use the knife tool and I'm gonna cut this plane in funny shape. Let's select all of the edges inside the plane, set the flow and we've got the result. Nice evenly spread edges. The only problem is the, the whole plane, it looks a bit wonky but we can easily fix it. In the operator panel we have to decrease the tension and now everything looks fine. Here we've got the cylinder and we've got the same situation but with the loop cuts. Let's select these three loop cuts, set flow and then we've got it evenly spread. But let's make a couple of loop cuts smaller and bigger. Let's select one and scale, another one make it a bit bigger and let's change the third one as well. Now let's select all of the loop cuts we want to even and then set flow and job done. Here we've got another object, let's select three edges on top and apply bevel. And now let's apply the edge flow to all the edges between the two bevels. And now when we set flow, you will see that we've got nice round shape because all the edges are spread evenly. We can do the same with the three edges on the bottom and now we've got even better curved shape. And here's another example of how you can use the edge flow. Let's select a couple of loop cuts here. Set the flow. And now you see this tool not even spread the uh, edges evenly, but also consider the size of the biggest edge loops. That's why we've got this result, but we can fix it. In the operator panel under the mix, we can still control the size of the flow or size of the loop cuts. We can straighten it up uh, with this option, but underneath we've got mean angle. And when we set this angle to 180 degrees, this bump disappear. Let's go back to our previous shape. And now I'm gonna show you another great thing that uh, Edge Flow can do. Let's select a couple of uh, inner and outer edges uh, around this bump inside the uh, object. And then instead of set flow, we can use set linear. And now you can see what the Edge Flow can do. Basically, it straighten up the geometry. Let's do the same with the top uh, inner edges. Let's select all of the edges, set flow, set linear, and we've got nice rectangular shape inside our object. The only problem is that all the edges that we selected are spread evenly now. To fix it we have to go to operator panel and antique space evenly. Now let's apply the edge flow and level up the top sticking out a geometry. And here we can select just the top two uh, loop cuts, set flow and we don't need to even use a mean angle. And that's it in this video, if you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time, bye!